Hey guys, it is me, Lifestimer, and I am just going to show you guys the new characters coming in this part right now, just with some little screenshots, and then when we get into the game, I will explain them furthermore. Hey guys, it is me, Lifestimer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP. Alrighty, so in this part, we will hopefully throw that teen party that I was really stoked about. Um, before we play this, I just want to say that it is snow day and the parents are still not home, so we'll have to see what we're doing. Um, also, you guys uh, previously just saw all the new characters uh, that are now going to be in Lucky Palms that the kids can hopefully have uh, some fun with. And um, they're actually, actually, actually all out front right now. So I will go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of them, I guess, and kind of explain their personalities. Um, here is Zane Santiago, and here's his dad, Julian Santiago. And Zane is kind of like your typical, I guess you could say, rebellious boy. He's very rebellious, and his dad is um, just um, kind of like that dad that, you know, he had to raise little Zane all by himself, so he's definitely, you know, a little bit, I don't know how to put it, he's just very humble, I guess, homely, and I like that about him, you can just tell by his appearance, you know, really homely, I didn't pick up those pants, but, um, yeah, so Zane's, you know, a little badass, I guess you could say, and, uh, yeah, so there's Zane, and then over here is the girls. I don't know if I'll be able to get a glimpse at them. Um, I think they're gonna come down here anyways. Come on, girls. Why don't you, uh, Penelope, why don't you go uh, say hello to Zane over here? Now, hopefully the girls will come out. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to become a BFF with Zane. She really has to go pee. Ooh, does she have to go pee? Penelope learned that Zane is rich. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the girls. Um, they're over here reading, which is weird. <laughs> I mean, it's not weird to read a book, it's just weird because they're personalities. Alrighty, so this one right here, this is Bianca. Um, Bianca Baez. She is, I guess you could say, kind of like Tori. She, you know, she has that little snotty attitude. But the twist of it is she's, I guess this is uh, kind of like Tori. She is, you know, flirting a little bit with Zane. They're kind of, you know, not exclusive, but they are a little flirty. So, you know, um, yeah. And then right here is Mindy O'Hara. She is your artistic little bundle of joy, I guess you could say. She's really artistic, and, you know, I love her hair. It's purple, and it's crazy. It came with Midnight Hollow, and yeah, they're both really, really cute girls. If they would look up, I could show you um, how cute they really are, but you guys saw the pictures. Anyways, we're gonna have Penelope go use that toilet. Over there, um, she's literally running to the toilet, and uh, yeah, so, those are the four new sims that I thought, you know, would be kind of fun to go ahead and uh, introduce to you guys. And I think Zane looks a lot, you know, cuter when he's in his everyday wear. He has, like, a little beanie on. So, definitely like that. Um, but I'm going to have her go ahead and uh, do a little friendly introduction to both of the girls. So, here's Bianca. We're going to go ahead and try to, you know, get on her good side. Penelope's also pretty hungry. Alrighty, and we're going to go ahead and greet uh, Bianca. Not Bianca. I meant Mindy. Here's Mindy. Oh, congratulations. Penelope has made enough acquaintances to complete the celebrity skill challenge. Oh, awesome. Alright, so here is Mindy. Alrighty. So, now we're going to have Penelope throw that party. 
Oh, we have to go home to throw it. Oops. She's going to go ahead and leave already. Go home, and we're going to throw that teenage party. Hopefully, it's a big rager. I think that'd be awesome if we had, like, a rager um, on Snowflake Day. I think that'd be super, super cute. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead home. And what's over here? What are they doing? Oh, he's building a snowman. She's playing with the dog with her huge, huge skirt. Kind of looks like Charlie. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alrighty, so she's almost home already. They live pretty close. Alright. That thing sounds like it's about to break down or blow up one of the two. Oh, look at the dogs out front. Look at Charlie and Tiff playing out front. Uh-oh, one of them has fleas. Um, Tiff has fleas. Ugh, great. Alrighty, Penelope, go eat something. Um, it looks like your brother made some burnt waffles that he just looks so thrilled to eat. <laughs> so, we're gonna go grab a plate. Also, a lot of you guys, you know, were giving me ideas about the whole Tori and Jay situation. And I think it's kind of interesting to leave Tori an adult, you know what I mean? And have Jay kind of, you know, mess around with other girls. And then when he comes an adult, he really just wants to settle down with Tori. Or does he? Or does he want one of the other girls? We'll just have to wait and see. Um... So, Penelope's going to eat really quick. Actually, you know, we can have Jay go ahead and throw it. Why not? Go ahead and throw a party, Jay. You little jock. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to invite Bianca, Mindy, um, Brandon, Zane, Simon. So, um, it'll be a a teen party and it will begin at 6 p.m. and it will be let's make it like have a twist we're gonna say it's gonna be swimwear attire um actually no we'll do casual casual attire because I was gonna you know have it be um weird and have them do like swimsuits because it's snow day and it's like a big twist and that's kind of what teen parties are about they're always like different which is cool um, but we're going to go ahead and repair this sink really quick. Yeah, repair it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and repair it. Penelope's taking on the challenge of a lifetime. Fixing that sink. You got this, girl. I got this! Oh my gosh, this needs to go away. Watch a raccoon. Not today. Never. How about that? Never. Ever. Alrighty, so we're going to try to teach uh, Ava how to talk. And maybe that could be like a surprise for Justine and Joseph for when they get home. We'll be like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, Ava can talk now. And they'll be super psyched and they'll be like, you kids are the best kids ever. Yeah. That's the idea. I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, until a little bit later and I'll get back to you guys then. Alrighty, so it is now 4 p.m. and we definitely need to take care of a few things before people start arriving. We're going to go ahead and... Um, put Ava to bed for a little while. She is a little hungry, but we're just going to put her to bed. Um, and we'll feed her later. But his party is starting pretty soon. And um, actually, she's really hungry. Penelope might just have to feed her before the party starts. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put Ava in her, her high chair. And Joseph, not Joseph, Jay, <laughs> why don't you go clean up a bit before your guests get here? They're people you have never met before, so I think it's a good idea. Alrighty, we're going to feed Penelope, and we're also, um, real quickly, going to go ahead and purchase um, a radio, I think. We'll buy one of these. Actually, we'll, we'll get a better one. Why not? We don't really have room for it, actually. So, we'll get one of these. Uh, this came with university, and I mean, this isn't exactly like the best thing to play, you know, some tunes on, but it's what we got. So we're going to use that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And, I mean, I can't hear it because I, I don't want to get copyrighted, but we're going to change it. What do the cool kids listen to? We're going to put on some rap. Um, some rap music and let them do that. 
And we're gonna... You might want to feed your little sister. Just saying. Good job. Oh no, Penelope caught fleas. Oh my gosh, Penelope, go shower. Go shower before all the kids see you and they see that, oh, Penelope has fleas. That's not embarrassing. All right, so the guests are beginning to arrive. Uh, we're gonna go put Penelope real quickly in, well, not Penelope. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. We're gonna go put Ava to bed. And people are beginning to arrive. Hello. Hi. I think you used to babysit us, actually. So, like, why are you here? That's kind of creepy. Oh, my gosh. Because our kids are friggin' insane. No joke. Both Penelope and Jay are insane. Jay is wearing a tuxedo to a casual party. Way to make an appearance. Wow. Hopefully... Oh, oh, this is exciting. We have Brandon, Zane, and Bianca all showed up. Ooh, I think I'm going to have Penelope um, go ahead and get a little friendly, I guess you could say. Oh, and Mindy arrived. Cool. So all the new kids decided to show up. And I think we're going to have um, Jay get a little friendly with Mindy. She's pretty cute. Oh, no. They're all having a bad time right now because the baby's crying. Penelope, go put your sister to bed quickly. Your guests are actually running out of the damn house right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, give her a little charming introduction. And uh, see how she is. How is life? How is it? We are here to flirt and achieve. And yes. He's like, hi, girl. I, I personally, I think she's cute, but I don't think she's as cute as Tori. Because Tori is absolutely adorable. Like, Tori is the original. You know what I mean? Ask if single compliment her appearance or in her personality and flirt with her a little bit and give her a little pickup line and Penelope why don't you go down here mm? and uh, talk to this cutie right here go ahead and be like a little give him a little pickup line um, ask his sign if he's single compliment his appearance his personality flirt with him a bit and if we're lucky we can ask him to prom Look at these two. This is like a really small party, so you two have fun dancing over there. <laughs> How are they doing out here? Oh, looks like they're doing okay. Oh, ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Give her some uh, pure white flowers. And give her another little flirt. I know, just spice it up a little bit. He's watching like, uh, look, everybody has like a partner right now. These two are dancing. These two are talking. The other two are outside flirting. Then there's Simon Smalls. I could throw in a really perverted joke, but we won't. Okay. We're gonna give him another little pickup line. He thinks we are being very alluring. Ooh. We're going to give him a, <laughs> a hug and um, a massage, maybe? Is being extremely irresistible. <gasps> first kiss. Actually, wait. Compress your attraction. Ooh. And get your first kiss. This is not your first kiss, you little shiznits. You little liar. She's like, I, I dig it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's a great kisser. He, he, uh, he's gonna go ahead and kiss her again. Make out with her because it's a party. Stroke her cheek and uh, confess to watching you while you sleep. We will go. We won't get creepy, but we're gonna hold her hands and. Oh, Tori, where's Tori? Tori's just our friend now. Oh, 
Tori's just our really close friend. That's really sad. Apparently, we're, like, not in a relationship anymore with her. I guess we'll stroke Bianca's cheek and propose to go and study with Bianca. How are these two in here? What is she doing to him? She's chatting to him. Go ahead and flirt with him again and confess your attraction and possibly do like a little heat of the moment kiss. And he's over here brushing the damn dog. Everybody's like getting all frisky. Simon's just brushing the dog. Simon would be me, actually. Come on. Come on, Penelope. <gasps> Yay! Penelope just had her first kiss. How exciting. Okay. We are going to go ahead and uh, uh, see if he wants to go to prom with us. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Don't think so. Go ahead and give him a, like, a little hug and uh, ask him to prom. And I think, oh yeah, these two are actually dating now. Um, Back off our woman. Give him a little rude introduction. Is he going to go to prom with us? So much is going on. Sure, I'll go with you. Let's try to head to the dance together. I am so excited. The dance is tomorrow night. Ooh. All right, Jay is going to go tell him, hey, don't talk to my woman. I've known her for like a whole couple of hours. Talk to her again. I'll kick your ass. Say it. Stay away from my woman. That's right. Go make out with her right in front of him. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. Stroke her cheek right in front of him. Um, Flirt with her right in front of him. Hold her hands right in front of him. I think these, uh, these three are okay. She's cool. Mindy's pretty chill. I think her and Penelope would be pretty good friends. So I think they'll definitely come friends in the future. Um, and the cops have not come to break this party up yet. Which is really surprising, because, I mean, I guess the party's not exactly, like, a rager, but, um, you know, it's, it's still there. Oh, look at them dancing together. Oh. How about you two, uh, go ahead and dance together as well? Oh, I think people are beginning to leave. Do a little dance with your girl. No. No. Penelope, stop dancing with Simon. Come over here and dance with Zane. And none for Gretchen Wieners. And no for Simon. And none for Simon Smalls. That's right. All right. So look at that. Everybody's dancing. Simon is once again left. Just looking. I guess that's what you get for uh, being a babysitter who never ages up. Went there. Went there. Alrighty, guys. I don't think this party's going to get broken up, to be honest. It's already um, about midnight, and all the kids are still dancing, having a good time. And, you know, I don't see it getting broken up, and we didn't have to feed them. So I'm very pleased. Alrighty, guys. I... I think the party is going to end soon. I am going to have Penelope go ahead and... Um, break up the party and today it technically today is um prom so we're definitely gonna have to get the kids ready it's like oh my gosh guys get out of here the police are coming you guys really need to go no police coming all right so they're all pretty thrilled with the party which is great um except mindy whatever mindy um so yeah that's pretty exciting it looks like everybody had a pretty decent time they all look pretty happy. You know, their little bubbles have smiley faces on them. So I'm, I'm proud of that. And I'm going to have the kids go ahead and head to bed now. Uh, they do have a long night ahead of them. And I will get back to you guys in the morning. Jay is going to go sleep in his little teddy bear bed with his little rocking horse. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Now I know not too much happened in this part. I went ahead and introduced you guys to the new characters, but 
in the next part, we're going to prom. <laughs> we'll have to see what goes down at prom. Um, we will also uh, have a little Luna go ahead and meet somebody. And I'm super excited about that. And that's pretty much all I got it. And probably in, within the next couple of parts, we're going to have two elderly sims on our lot. And Ava will age up soon as well. So, I will see you guys in the next part. And I love you guys so much. And stay tuned. Bye, guys.